the boundaries of fissurettal fossa the anterior boundary of fissurettal fossa is this the anterior boundary of fissurettal fossa is by the perineal membrane only the posterior margin of perineal membrane is forming the anterior boundary of fissurettal fossa so the anterior boundary of fissurettal fossa is the perineal membrane margin only perineal membrane posterior boundary of fissurettal fossa is by the ligament guys what was the ligament if you remember what was the ligament present here it was a sacrotuberous ligament and on that sacrotuberous ligament we have attachment of gluteus maximus so the two structures the two structure which are forming the posterior wall is going are going to be one is the sacrotuberous ligament sacrotuberous ligament and then the muscle is the gluteus maximus muscle the muscle originating from the sacrotuberous ligament is a gluteus maximus muscle anterior boundary posterior boundary medial boundary guys medial boundary clearly is by this sphincter that's a external anal sphincter and not only external anal sphincter the levator ani look at the pelvic diaphragm the levator ani is also converging toward the anal canal so that is also contributing to the boundary here so this one and this one both so i can say medial wall of the ischiorectal fossa medial wall of ischiorectal fossa is by external anal sphincter one clearly that is external anal sphincter and also by the levator ani also by the levator ani and finally lateral boundary guys lateral boundary of ischiorectal fossa can you see a muscle over there which can be seen more clearly on this side so there is a muscle which we saw in the gluteal region also the only muscle which was coming out of the lesser sciatic notch and that muscle which was coming out of the lesser sciatic notch was obturator internus muscle which is forming the lateral boundary here so lateral boundary of ischiorectal fossa is by the muscle that muscle is obturator obturator internus obturator internus so that's a boundary of the ischiorectal fossa guys anterior posterior medial lateral boundary one thing both ischiorectal fossa they cannot communicate to each other anteriorly because we have perineal body and all in front but both the ischiorectal fossa they can communicate with each other behind the anal canal now that communication guys that communication of the ischiorectal fossa behind the anal canal which i marked like this this recess is called as a horseshoe recess this recess is called as a horseshoe recess of ischiorectal fossa and the reason we call it horseshoe recess because if there is any abscess in one ischiorectal fossa that can easily get transferred into the another one behind the anal canal not from the front but behind the anal canal and will take a shape of a horseshoe so we call it a horseshoe abscess also so space is called as a horseshoe recess and that is basically connecting both the ischiorectal fossa behind the anal canal behind the anal canal to understand finally a little more about the ischiorectal fossa and the contents now obviously guys needless to say the main content of ischiorectal fossa is going to be the fat there will be fat 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 the fat is the main content of the ischiorectal fossa for sure but there is a little more something more to understand apart from the fat here and for that we'll take one final section here guys let's take a coronal section exactly from the level of ischiorectal fossa here. if i take a coronal section from here look at this if i take a coronal section from here that section is going to look something like this so that is the coronal section of ischiorectal fossa and this coronal section is showing me this is the coronal section of the ischiorectal fossa and what i can make out from this coronal section guys i already said the lateral boundary is by which muscle lateral boundary is by obturator internus the same thing that is obturator internus medial boundary is by the sphincter that is external anal sphincter you can see that's external anal sphincter is there and not only external anal sphincter it is the levator ani or pelvic diaphragm is also there would you believe the last the very very recent question in the aims exam was just the identification of the pelvic diaphragm now in this picture what else can be the pelvic diaphragm apart from this here that's the only muscle that you see going like this so that's a pelvic diaphragm or levator ani so that was the only question just to identify the pelvic diaphragm 
So obturator internus toward the lateral side, external inner sphincter and levator ni is present toward the medial side. We already saw that. That is a base here, is a skin, that is a, that is a skin here. And you can see the main content of the ischiatal fossa is fat. Now apart from fat, if you look carefully, the obturator fascia is forming a canal on the side here. There is a canal which is present on the side and this canal is called as the pudendal canal. The pudendal canal guys, the pudendal canal is mainly made up of obturator fascia. You can see it is on the obturator internus muscle. Other fascia are also, are also contributing to it. But pudendal canal is mainly made up of, it is mainly made up of the obturator fascia. That is going to be your best answer if you have to choose the fascia which forms the pudendal canal. So it's the obturator fascia which forms it. And the purpose of pudendal canal is that when those pin structures entered inside, pin, remember P, I and pin, then to give the passage to that pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessel, we need this canal. So this pudendal canal is holding the pudendal nerve, is holding the pudendal nerve and it is also holding the internal pudendal vessels. Nerve to obturator internus will supply the obturator internus and it, it is done there only. So pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels, these are the structures which are present in the pudendal canal. So I can say the content of ischiatal fossa, the content of ischiatal fossa is not only fat, apart from fat we also have pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels. But look, Pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels, as, as you can see in this picture, they are quite safe because they are very much toward the lateral side of ischiatal fossa. If you have a patient having an abscess in the ischiatal fossa and you want to drain that abscess, now when you drain that abscess, when you cut this the skin from this region, you can drain the abscess from here, no problem with that, we just have skin below. But the only problem is that from this pudendal nerve and internal pudendal vessels, there is one nerve which will come like this to supply the sphincter and there is one blood vessel also which will come like this to supply the sphincter and inner canal and that is inferior rectal nerve and inferior rectal artery vein is also there i'm just saying artery inferior rectal nerve and inferior rectal artery guys please note that inferior rectal nerve and inferior rectal artery because they're running like this like this in the ischiatal fossa from lateral to medial side so when you try to drain the abscess from this fossa these two structures are vulnerable to injury. So they do ask this question also that what structures in the ischiatal fossa can get injured in the drainage of ischiatal fossa abscess and these are the one. They are vulnerable to injury in the drainage of ischiatal fossa abscess. They are vulnerable to injury in the drainage of ischiorectal fossa abscess. Inferior rectal nerve and inferior rectal vessels. They both are running transversely. They are obviously content as well. They are also the content of ischiorectal fossa, but they are the one which are vulnerable to injury also. So this is these are the few things that you must know in the perineum about the structures orientation and arrangement here. And especially in the ischiorectal fossa identification of the levator and I twice this question is asked, though it is very, very simple to identify the pelvic diaphragm. But obviously in the, in the upcoming years, we can expect more uh, questions from this part where you can, they can ask you about this inferior rectal nerves. They have already asked the inferior rectal nerves and vessels theoretically, but it could be an image based question also.